the malaria problem in Suriname, you could divide it in certain periods. Yes, uh, the problematic period, if you can call it like that, is before 2002. It was very bad in Suriname malaria. We're talking about hundreds of cases on, in all villages. People were even driven away from the villages because they were afraid to get sick. The numbers of malaria were very high in Suriname. If you look at the county, about 450,000 people, of which maybe 40, 50,000 people, especially if in the hinterland, you saw that it was still high percentage of people had uh, malaria. But then we started, I think, our first uh, project or program with the Global Fund. And within one and two years, malaria was decreased with more than 80%. By 2006, we brought malaria down by more than 80%. Muito, muita malaria aqui. Muita malaria. Era difícil, muito difícil trabalhar, sabe? Era muito difícil, não tinha, não tinha pessoas para fazer exames, sabe? Malaria was going down in the villages, but still reintroduced because of the spread in the gold mining areas. So we felt really the need to have a control program in those areas, which was quite a challenge. First, they change a lot, they, they move a lot, and they are not always safe. So we found a way to get access through to these gold mining areas. And that's the second program with regards to malaria that started last year in Suriname and that is especially aimed at uh, malaria in the gold mining areas. It also, its name says a lot all. It's looking for gold, finding malaria. The malaria board was installed by the Ministry of Health then, 15, about 15 years ago, because then malaria was at its peak. It was, we had more than 15,000 cases. People in the interior had malaria all the time. So the Minister of Health then decided to install an interdepartmental malaria board consisting of representatives of the ministry. The Director of Health has always been the chair. Then representative of medical mission representative of the Bureau of Public Health, representative of um, the uh, medical specialists or the malariologists, so the technical people. And uh, recently the Ministry of Regional Affairs was added and the Ministry of Defense. The role of the Malaria Board is to keep track of uh, the malaria uh, incidents in Suriname and to monitor the implementation of the malaria control programs, factor control, uh, diagnosis, treatment. The role of the malaria board is also to uh, change malaria uh, treatment protocols if necessary. Two main things that we did were uh, the bed nets, the insecticide treated bed nets, and introducing a coartem. Before we started using coartem, we gave quinine, and that's, uh, that was a drug that with a lot of uh, side effects. So people didn't finish their uh, treatment. But with the Quartem, it's a three-day course, they finished their treatment and give a halt to the transmission of malaria. Because the gold mining population is very mobile, we need to know, and we need to know fast, what is happening with malaria. We made our own map. We made a map of Suriname, where, are the, where all the gold mining activities are. And we divided Suriname in seven districts. All those districts, as we call them, we have malaria surface deliverers. Those are the people who are in the field, the people who are trained uh, uh, dealing with basic malaria, rapid tests, etc. But those people are the people who are, are reporting our information on a weekly basis. When we see an increase of malaria somewhere, then we go with a team to that place and doing what we call active case detection. That's mass blood screening of the uh, community and uh, giving treatment to those uh, positive for malaria. We use cooks, we use uh, people who have shops, uh, maybe cleaning ladies who are in that area. We use, we train them, basic training and dealing with basic uncomplicated malaria uh, infections.
Nesse material, a gente faz o exame, esse resultado aqui a gente dá para o cliente, mediante esse daqui, a gente passa o medicamento. E vai o da lâmina, que é esse daqui, vai, volta para Paramaribo para eles confirmar o resultado que está aqui nesse papel. The unit uh, name is anti-malaria campaign, and this is the lab unit. When uh, we take blood from uh, from people, then the blood come here for investigation, and here we do mic microscopic uh, diagnosis. Now, if we compare uh, seven years ago, every day we had here 14, 15 cases, positive cases of malaria. Nowadays we have only one, two, zero. Muito diminuiu bastante, bastante mesmo. Não tem comparação, tem comparação. Hoje tem a farmácia aqui, né? Que tem um teste aqui na farmácia. Então hoje praticamente não tem mais malária. They are very happy when they see people come to them to give them treatment because malaria was a very big problem for garimpeiros. So they were very happy to see us bringing free medicine and diagnosis to them. The challenge in the gold mining area is really the logistics, uh, transportation. You don't really have uh, good roads in the interior. We travel by ATV, that's all-terrain vehicles, and those rides uh, could be very, very tough. We started a very strong cooperation with the people from the malaria program. We were very glad that we could uh, make some of our workers available to be trained in this program so that they know really how to uh, do the quick scan and how, what type of uh, medicine should be given uh, in case a certain form of malaria was detected. One of the, the most important thing in fighting malaria in Suriname was the fact that we have this system of medical mission where you have polyclinics in the whole interior so people can go to a health center when they feel sick. Another important thing that we did was uh, building a lab, creating a lab here in Paramaribo in the area where a lot of Brazilians are living. When they came into the city, most of them live in that area, they could go there and nobody as for paper, you only give your name, you get tested, and you get treated for free. And that was very successful. What we have here is the malaria gene bank, small filter papers of all the patients that are diagnosed with malaria in the field. An important uh, drug resistance associated study that we have done is the one for mefloquin, because mefloquin is at this moment the prophylaxis in Suriname. Periodically, we have to repeat that study so that we know if things are changing. And if things are changing, then the Ministry of Health can adapt their policy. That's a nice example where the molecular research actually supports malaria policy of the Ministry of Health and the Malaria Board. How did we reach this elimination? Of course, there was um, highly effective treatment available, good diagnostic tools like the quick tests. Then there was impregnated bed nets. But what is also essential is a decentralized healthcare system, which we have with Medical Mission, and with outreach services to the uh, uh, mo mobile population, like the migrant workers, like the gold mining people. And then there needs to be an intersectoral board where all the people come together periodically and discuss the issues and set the way forward. And so that you have one strategy for the country, one treatment protocol, and uh, one uh, a way of how, how to deal with the factor. And I think that those were the success elements for Suriname. The main challenge is to keep the people aware of malaria because since malaria went down, people, they don't worry a lot about malaria. Now, I see when we go to a village or, uh, or a gold miners community saying that we, are, we, are, we will do active case detection, before, everyone would come to get tested. Now they say, no, we don't have malaria.
Uh, we had to succeed in uh, dropping the cases uh, of malaria to with more than 90 percent and uh, for almost three years now I think we haven't had any fetal cases of malaria. We think that the project, the way it was designed and executed by the Ministry of Health, uh, and this uh, represented by the Malaria Board uh, of Suriname, uh, was uh, is really a case that I think uh, that can be present to the world, how to manage the malaria epidemic.